In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean, protect and bring your Mac up to speed with Clean My Mac X. For more information on Clean My Mac X, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. If like me, you've been using your Mac for a while and for a whole host of different functions, such as managing and storing your crypto, creating large files such as videos, or simply using your Mac to run an array of different apps, you may find your computer is starting to slow down. But before you start spending your hard-earned money or gains on extra storage or even a brand new Mac, it's worth cleaning your Mac and checking for malware. And a tool that I personally use for this is Clean My Mac X by McPaw. Clean My Mac X is a software tool that helps you to clear your Mac of clutter and it removes all your unwanted junk and malware and it should make your computer faster and more organized. The Mac Cleaner, which has been downloaded 15 million times worldwide, was created by McPaw, who develop apps that make your Mac life simpler. And they state that they do three jobs at once, by cleaning your Mac, protecting it, and bringing your Mac up to speed. Dealing with storage, speed, and malware issues. Plus it'll even turn your junk into free space. Now you will require a paid license or a subscription to use all of their features. However, you can also try Clean My Mac X for free before you buy. And I'll put my link to Clean My Mac X below. I've got a few different Macs that I use for my personal data, my crypto or my tutorials, etc. But today I'm going to be showing you Clean My Mac on a MacBook Pro with a full paid license of Clean My Mac X. So let's run Clean My Mac X on here to see if there's any issues and how we can possibly improve its performance and free up some space. The first place to start really is the smart scan. Depending on whether or not you're on a free trial or a subscription, it'll combine a few different modules that you'll see on the left hand side of the screen. And this includes the likes of the system junk, mail attachments, trash bins, malware removal and maintenance. Now this isn't the first time that I run Clean My Max and it can definitely take longer if it's your first time or possibly on an older machine, but this took a few moments for me. If this is your first time, once you run it, it'll be quicker the next time you run it. Once the smart scan is finished, you'll see the total amount of data that can safely be removed, any threats and tasks that you can run to increase its performance. So let's take a look at the review details icon here under Cleanup first. And this will then take you to the system junk, where you can do a quick scan to locate and remove any temporary files that may be stored on your machine. And as you can see, this includes the likes of cache files, system log files and user log files, etc. Now you can also allow Clean My Mac to clean more junk by granting full disk access. If this is something that you want to do, head across to your Mac's system preferences, then to security and privacy and you'll need to unlock in the bottom left to make any changes and head across to the privacy tab and then you'll need to tick the box for clean my Mac and you may need to restart your machine at this point. Once enabled, you'll receive a prompt on the clean my Mac screen letting you know that they guarantee your data is protected and you can always switch this back off after the scan is complete. So if I now click on to run again, it will then search for more where it will run for maintenance scripts, flash DNS cache and free up some RAM. And as you can see, six gigabytes of space has now been freed up, which is great as extra storage for Macs can be expensive. As a result of the smart scan, it's letting me know that there haven't been any immediate threats found, but that a deep scan is recommended. If I click on to run deep scan now, it takes me to the malware removal section of the app. Once that's run, it's not detected any malware threats, such as viruses, adware, worms, or spyware at this time. So that was the smart scan section of the app. But you can run these modules separately too. For example, if you just want to run the system junk here, it will optimize your system and resolve all sorts of errors. And you can scan from here, review the details, and clean. It'll also come up with a wizard in the top right hand side of the screen asking me if I'm looking for anything in particular, such as optimizing your Mac, uninstalling unneeded apps or running maintenance. And it shows me how much it's cleaned since my first use. 
The next tab we'll look at is Mail Attachments, which will help save some space by removing copies of your email and attachments that you may have downloaded. Plus it also optimizes so that your mail no longer stores things like company logos and smaller attachments. Now I don't personally use mail on this laptop, but you can run it from here. Next there's Trash Bins, which is pretty self-explanatory. It removes your trash. But not only that, it'll also look through all your applications and it'll find anything that's been sent for deletion. This includes your mail and photo libraries, but again, I don't have any files here. Next, we have the malware removal, which we've already covered, but it's worth running these scans periodically just to keep a check on it, and especially if your Mac is behaving erratically. When it comes to privacy, I do use a Chrome browser, but I also use Brave 2, plus I clear my cache after every session. But with the privacy function, Basically, it saves you time opening up every single browser and manually deleting your browsing and download history as it does it all in one place. And the privacy section also lets you check what apps have access to your microphone and your camera. Plus, it will also get rid of your chat data like Skype or messages if you want to. And once you've scanned, you can then select what you'd like to delete from the list and then click on to remove. And it will then let you know how many traces have been cleared and how much extra space you have. Optimization will allow you to analyze what's running on it. If we click onto the 10 items, it shows me my breakdown. So under the login items, these are essentially the apps that launch and annoyingly pop up when you log in. And you can manage these from here if there's any that you'd like to remove. However, I'm not gonna remove them as I want Crisp, which I use for my audio, and my VPN, etc., to launch on startup. The maintenance tab I don't actually need to run, as this was already covered in the smart scan, but it will improve your hard drive performance and also free up some RAM. The uninstaller tool allows you to choose an application that you'd like to remove, and it will easily and quickly perform this task for you. So there's no need to move certain files across to a trash bin, as Clean My Mac will remove all traces from your Mac. And all you'd need to do is select an option from the list and then choose to uninstall. Plus it'll also show you which applications you've not used and you can possibly consider removing some of these to free up some space. As well as any leftovers and these are from applications that you've manually uninstalled yourself. The updater tool is really handy as it will show you all the updates that you need to run in one place. And as you can see I need to run an update on iMovie and Telegram. So if I just update from here. And this is great as having the latest version means that your computer will run more efficiently and this might take some time to run. Plus updated apps usually include security updates for the latest breaches. Within extensions, you can go ahead and disable these and you can also remove them as well as any related items. Space Lens will give you a size comparisons of your files and folders so that you can see what files are taking up the most amount of space and it will build a storage map for you. Now the more that you use your Mac, the more the likes of large or old files can build up until you find yourself running out of space or find that your apps are crashing. And the large and old files section will search for these when you scan. Don't worry, as Clean My Mac does not delete anything without your permission, and you can always check what's being removed. And you can select your files from here, but be aware that just because a file is large, it doesn't mean that it isn't needed. So only delete files when you're 100% happy to do so. So sometimes, when you manually delete the files yourself, you don't get rid of all the files associated. For example, on this Mac, I create a lot of videos in iMovie. And when I go to delete this, it will be removed from iMovie, but the files are still within the iMovie library. And that's why such a high amount of space is being used by the iMovie library. Now there is a way that you can manually do this, but it is a little bit more complicated. However, Clean My Mac removes it all. Then finally is the shredder, which is a more secure process of deleting your files and folders. And you can select your files, which will then allow you to browse through your folders. And once you shut down Clean My Mac, it's also available from your desktop here where you can see the real-time malware monitor is on, it lets you know the available space, memory, any battery draining applications that may be running, the space in your trash, CPU and network details and speeds here. 
Then you have access to your settings, where you can do things such as running regular smart scans and you can be notified when there isn't much free space left. But that completes how you can use Clean My Mac X to clean, protect and bring your Mac up to speed. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.